Happy Saturday, everybody. Do not buy right now. I'm gonna explain why, I'll show you what I'm looking at, but unless you're a cash buyer, you really ought to be comfortable sitting on the sidelines. Certainly do not scrape up money to try to buy right now. It's just not the right time for that. I'm going to explain, I promise. But first, we have to take a look at the commercial space. Rent rates are imploding and we're starting to see some pain there. My name's Ethan Flynn. I'm a CPA, a realtor, a data junkie, and I love real estate. If you have decided to buy, I'm not trying to get anybody to buy, but if you have decided you're gonna buy and you are a cash-heavy buyer in the Williamson County area, that's Brentwood, Franklin Cool Springs, all the way over to Nolansville, Leapers Fork, Thompson Station, we are happy to help. That's my area. I'd love to help you. Feel free to reach out and see if we can't help you. So without further ado, Let's get into the data. Okay, so the first thing that we need to look at is this rent chart. Where are you at? Oh, daily asking rents. Guys, we gotta look at this. Rents are tanking. They've actually been tanking since May, but something happened this week. We just hit a new 12 month low. That's right, guys. The last low we hit was in December. On December 2nd, we just broke below that in rents for multifamilies in Nashville. And that is a major warning sign because it's September 13th. If it continues to drop through December, we are going to be a lot lower than we are right now. Uh, and so let's go look at the three-year view. So let's look at the three-year view. We broke through that low and now we're back to spring of 22, guys. We've erased all of the rent increases through, since the spring of 22 and we are headed lower. Now, how do I know we're headed lower? Well, all we really need to look at is the under construction number. Okay, we have 19,000 currently under construction. Now, they're not all going to be delivered next year. But what we do know is that about 12,000 a year are getting delivered. And the problem with that is the absorption rate. Guys, we're only absorbing about half of what is being delivered. That means for every two units that are delivered, only one is being filled. Believe it or not, our absorption rate is up. So our absorption rate a year ago was about 4,800. Today, it's 5,600. But we are getting such a deluge of inventory, it's not putting a dent in the numbers coming online. And that's why our vacancy rate has gone from 8% a year ago to 11% now and will likely continue going up. Now, what does this look like on the ground? Well, let's take a look at a few of my favorites. How about Fallen? Two and a half months free right now at $16.95. Guys, you remember saying, I said that was a low and they're only 70% occupied. They've got 30% vacant. They have 87 units to fill up. Look at Connect. Connect has 120 units that are available right now and they're listing studios for $1,600 and they're offering one and two months free. Let's look at Alcove. My This is my favorite one is Alcove. It's barely 50% leased up. Now they're at $1,725. Okay, let's look at Albion. Oh, that's Haven. Oh, up to three months rent-free living. Three months rent-free. Guys, I'm just telling you, so many, so many. I don't even know which one to pick. I'm looking for Albion, Modera, up to 10 weeks free. Okay, where are you, Albion? Is it this one? Here, here it is, Albion, 1549 for a studio. This is a cool looking building too, but 1549. Guys, there's so many of these. There's just sitting, they're all trying to lease up, competing against each other and prices are dropping. So are they gonna keep dropping? I mean, why wouldn't they? There's just not enough people for these units. Okay, so rents are dropping. Now let's move on over. Let's look at this property in West Haven. Okay, this is a nice property. It's got a garage, looks like a little garage apartment. Looks nice, okay? 3,300 square feet, five bed, four and a half bath. I mean, it's a good rental, okay? It's a good rental. Um, now, here's what I want you to see. Okay, 3,300 square feet. The median sales price right now for West Haven is selling at 425, which you guys know I think is insane, but whatever. 425 is what they're selling at. Okay, we're gonna value this one since it's older. We're gonna value this one since it's older at like 350, which is low for West Haven. That puts the value of this property at 1.2 million. Here's my point, guys. If you were to get a mortgage putting 20% down on this property at 1.2 million, your monthly mortgage payment with taxes and insurance is gonna be around $7,100. But that's not all. The interest, just the interest you would pay on this property at 7% is higher than your rent payment of 5,500. 
You would be paying your first payment. You would have an interest expense of $5,600. Guys, you would be paying more in rent in interest than you would renting this property. Keep in mind when you rent, somebody else has to pay to maintain it. Somebody else has to take care of that property. You're living there. So when, when people say, should I rent or should I buy? You say, oh, well, I'll buy for pre-appreciation. Well, when rents are this disconnected from fundamentals, appreciation is also much lower, okay? I'm not saying it can't go up. There are so many people moving here. This property can go up, but it's very speculative. It's not based on rent rates. It's based on the assumption that rent would grow in the future. And we just saw rents are getting really squishy in in Nashville, okay? Now that's on the multifamily side. I don't know about the the single family side. I certainly think single family is stronger, but do we really think rents are going up? Let's see. We scroll down here, we can see that they rented this last year. They were listing it for 64, 6,500 last year. Then they dropped it to 6,400, then 6,200, then 5,900. Now they're at 5,500. Are rents going up? You see what I mean? It's just disconnected, guys. It's just disconnected. So all I'm saying is if you're a cash buyer, you know, great. You want to put, if you have a lot of cash, Williamson County, there's no better place to put it. Certainly better than the stock market, in my personal opinion. It's not investing advice. But, but, to, to borrow, I mean, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense, guys. Now, let's take a look at the housing market in general. There's something that really interesting happened this week. Okay, active listings hit a new high. That's right, a new year-to-date high again, 6135. That's big news. That's big. That's very big news. But interestingly enough, there's one county, not Williamson. Williamson's kind of steadying out. But look at Davidson. Davidson is skyrocketing, guys. Active listings are absolutely skyrocketing in Davidson County. Now, I got to tell you, this is a mystery to me, and it really is a mystery. Like, I spent all morning for the past two mornings trying to figure out what's going on here, okay? So what are some hypotheses? Uh, it could be new builds, right? It could be distressed sellers. It could be people having to move back to Austin or Seattle that work for Amazon that can no longer work at the hub here, which, by the way, I guess it's not a hub. Forgive me, Amazonians. But, like, apparently the operations center of excellence isn't where anybody can work. And so people have to move back to Austin and Seattle. I kind of wonder if that's it. I, I don't know, have any way to test that, but if you know, let me know. But the point is, is like, let's just take a look at a couple of charts I have here. This is Davidson Williamson active listings. Okay. Now I do split it out. Someone asked me why I split it out in these price bands and they're, it's somewhat arbitrary, but here's what I'll tell you. I'll tell you the million dollar buyers care about the million dollar listings, but under a million dollars, the gap between a 700 and a million is so much different than under 700. In fact, I could probably split it out again, but I haven't. The point is, is that your under 700s have absolutely skyrocketed. Is not only did they skyrocket, but new builds in these areas are pretty consistently at 30%. So even as inventory is increasing, new builds as a percentage of total listings is not increasing. It's staying flat at 30%. So that leads me to think like, well, what's going on here? Okay. And I don't know, but what I can tell you is that discounts are also increasing in the under 700s pretty significantly. You can see it's the same bend upwards. Discounts to original list price is increasing right now. Okay. What else I know, anybody who puts motivated in the remarks, I tag and count how many listings there are. And right now in the under 700s, we hit a new high for really since the spring of 22. Now, this is a very small number. It's very small, but it is interesting that it's going up. And it is interesting that it's the highest it's been since the spring, okay? And you remember this big downward move happened. It coincided with that huge contract volume that happened in January. Now we're starting to see it just fizzle out. We're starting to see more, more motivated sellers. Now, this has not translated to more price drops yet. And what I mean by that is when I look at median sales price, it's still hovering around 472 where it was last week when I updated you. But what this does tell me is that there's cracks forming and the likelihood of more price drops in the future are high. So we're going to keep an eye on this. And, and the other thing that's very interesting about this is this, this is in the affordable uh, subset of houses. This is in the under 700. So the fact that it's skyrocketing, something's happening here. And I don't know what it is, but it's very interesting. So I'll keep digging on it. I wish I had more answers. I don't have more answers today. But the bottom line is, is that Davidson County skyrocketing in inventory, contract volume, staying low. And we're starting to see 
discounts and motivated sellers creep up. Will it translate to the price? I think it will, but we have yet to see that. So if you guys are enjoying this video, I certainly would appreciate a like as it does help the algorithm and spread what hopefully is the best, most data-driven channel there is on real estate here in Nashville. And with that, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you next Saturday.